The Future Church, to me... When I think of the Future Church... I'm really excited about the Future Church. <laughs> When I think of the future church, I think of a church that is really based or focused in on the margins. I think the most important thing is to hear their voices, to hear their stories. The next generation of ministers um, will need to be at the margins. We'll need to listen to the people, to um, walk with the people, and to really learn what are the needs and how can we um, together with the people meet those needs. We're not kind of stuck in our parishes hiding away and hoping that we will pray hard enough. You know, it's, it's one that is out there involved in the community, making an impact on the places where we live, our neighborhoods, our families. While structure helps us to be effective, there are ways of organizing and sharing power that more evenly distributes influence than we've always seen in the Catholic Church. And I think the next generation is already engaging in ministry from exactly where they are, and we just need to listen and let them lead. I think that what I see in the classroom um, and in my experience with young people is that there is such an energy and curiosity about exploring deep questions of life. And so I think there's such opportunity for a really engaged grappling with the issues of the world and issues of faith in a way that I think is fruitful for both. Professor Diane Brigant in one of her courses said to us that the church deserves well-prepared ministers. I took those words to heart and I have strived to serve God's people with the best that I have. What keeps me going is the conviction that the love of God has no limitations. That to me is the future church now. One of the things that I've learned at CTU that has greatly impacted my ministry with young people is that personal experience matters deeply when it comes to a relationship with God and growing and exploring in faith questions. CTU has equipped me with the theological grounding that I need in order to create space for the young people that I work with to realize and discern who they're becoming as kind of game changers in the church and in the world. I think the next generation is going to be focused in on answering the really difficult questions and answering those difficult questions with more compassion and more sincerity and more authenticity. The work being done at CTU that inspires a lot of hope in me is opening the eyes of people who are very, very in, into church, but they're seeing vantage points that they would never see unless they were at CTU. We learned about the importance of paying attention to Loco Tidiano, the daily lived experiences of the people. This is where God is. And trying to understand what is that daily lived experience like through listening, through walking with the people, in these sacred spaces and I apply what I learned at CTU every day. I think it's easy to get frustrated or feel like things are moving really slow if we only focus on what's happening institutionally or in an official capacity but people of faith are doing things every day to work for justice and they're empowered by the gospel and by each other and that was the experience I had at CTU and with the connections that I've had from CTU ever since. One of the beautiful things about CTU is that I got to experience so many different types of ways of celebrating the sacraments from different cultures and different languages. It's a lot like Pope Francis said, you know, that we're going out there and we're getting messy. <laughs> and that's the church to me. It's a messy, wonderful, vibrant place <laughs> that we see the love of Christ present in the community through each other, through the sacraments, and through the ways that we make a difference. And so it was just such a rich experience for me and so foundational. And that was all thanks to CTU.